prostration is here. Inner outer secret prostration. Short form prostration, one. Second prostration, <coughs> two. Third prostration, extra length, full length, three. Come up immediately. That's the third one. Three times. Short form, medium form, long form. Traditional, people something wrong or no time or in a rush, no space, inconvenient, short form. With the visualization of the long form. You have a little more time, little space, second form. If you have a lot of time, a lot of space, prostration retreat, the longest form. Why? How many atoms there are under you is the amount of merit you collect with each prostration. So if you're big, you're tall, you're fat, you collect more merit up. <laughs> I mean, that's what the Geshe's also say. It's true. Imagine Diane. She walked out. She do three rides, come up. I'm good up. Yes, <laughs> Tashi. She do five thousand. <laughs> okay, that's why me, 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 me can be a good up. I'm not You know, her skinny arms cover three atoms. And Diane goes down five million atoms. <laughs> Rude, isn't it? That's right. So, as those of you who have problems with the body and stuff, you can't do prostration, it's okay, there's other practices. Prostration retreat is excellent for purifying the negativities of your body. Drinking, smoking, sexual misconduct, beating, hurting, things you did this life and previous life, prostration is very powerful to purify. If you purify that karma, it won't come back to you. Your family will break apart. The second thing is, when you do prostration retreat, it clears the negative karma of your mind so that when you listen to the Dharma, you stay awake, you stay alert, it will go in very clear and very quick. And the amount of time you need to listen to Dharma to understand will be very, very fast due to prostration. Third is diseases, sickness. If you catch it early, it will be purified by prostration. Definitely. And last, for higher attainments, by doing prostration retreats, 100,000 minimum, you will be able to conquer your ego and your pride so that you'll be more easy, more kind, more adjustable to other people. <clears throat> You will not find the time. Ego don't manifest. And when you do the higher practices such as Vajrakini, Vajrakini later, which we'll all do, if you've done 100,000 prostrations and um, um, as a preliminary retreat such as Vajrasatra, prostration, mandala offering, water offering, when you do Vajrakini practice, much, much easier. So do prostration retreat, a lot of benefit. A lot of benefit. So one day, every day, we can do 25 and count. It's okay. But don't break it. So if you're very sick, just do three. Continue. So if one week you're sick one day, just do three that day. Never mind. Continue. Continuation is very important. So you do 25 to 25. You want to do 50, 50. Sometimes do 50 to 25. Set a number for yourself. And also, best benefit, when you do prostration, you get a fabulous body. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take off your shirt, take off mine. Let's see who got better. You want? <laughs> All right, you better quit coughing and clearing your throat at the wrong timing. <laughs> get him, Kendero, get him. Tell him who's a real. Oh, never mind. Okay, so it's very beneficial. So, you think you want exercise? Do spiritual exercise. You do prostration, your body is good for your heart, good for your circulatory, good for your arms, good for your back, good for your whole body, and collect merit and purify karma. What else do you want? And what's the best thing to make prostration to? Lama Tsongkhapa. So, if you got Lama Tsongkhapa statue, Lama Tsongkhapa, whatever. And when you travel, that's why I give people Lama Tsongkhapa pendant. Do you know why? When I give people a pendant, it's very blessed. I do a lot of prayers on it. And I do a lot of meditations and I give to the person so that they are protected by Lama Tsongkhapa or Vajrayini, whatever they're wearing. That's my way. It's not me trying to start some kind of fad or start some kind of cult. It's I want people to be protected. That's my motivation. Instead of wearing all kind of food, all kind of symbols, you know, all these things with Thailand hanging like that, little kumin dong, all these little bottles, all that funny thing, right? You walk around like a cow. <laughs> you, see, you see Wang when she first started like a cow, all these protections, she's in Thailand, but... <laughs> so that once, and you're modern, you guys are modern, you dress well, look at you, you're beautiful people, you're modern, you're nice. Why do you want to wear all these chains with all these things, you know? You know, hear about, I don't know, something like penis from Thailand, you know? <laughs> they have a baby inside a bottle. Then have some old monk inside a bottle. Then have a Tibetan chakra here. I know. When the hantu come, the hantu run not because you, because you're scared. <laughs> the hantu don't run because you're wearing chakra. Hantu run because they look at you, they scare away. <laughs> Even never mind hantu, your friend also run. Think. Then if you get one beautiful Buddha, which Paris did not, because she's a traitor. Traitor, 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 traitor. Okay. 
One song kappa, Vajukini, whatever Buddha you like, you wear, you get it consecrated. Simple. You're wearing a Buddha body. It blesses you. And when you travel, you want to do prostrations, you can take your Buddha and put it on there and make prostrations. How convenient. And for those of you who travel, get a pendant. Get the best. And if you, you don't like the pendants because they look simple, order through Ruby, get diamonds up. Diamonds are Rubichi's best friend, don't forget. Get diamonds all over. All of your diamond eyes for what you can eat, diamond here, diamond here, everywhere. Diamond. <laughs> Lama Tsong Double like diamond too, you know. Deep down inside, he's a woman. <laughs> Just kidding. He's a Buddha, no sex. So get Tsong Kappa with nice diamonds for That's why I give diamond Tsong Kappas to people. Diamond, whatever, or, or gold, whatever. It's an offering. It blesses them. It's very powerful. You want to wear ornaments? Get cool chains and put a pendant on it. Show people. And when people see your Tsong Kappa and Vajivini, you also bless them. Why? To see it with them. Maybe you go to China, you go to India, you go to Indonesia, you go to England or wherever, you know. You meet people who never even know what Buddha is. When they even see your pendant, you bless them. That's not a joke. You bless them. So those of you who are wearing pendants, you are very cool. You're my good books. You're me and Lama Tsongkhapa's friend. Those of you who are not, you're traitors. And I will reconsider your trip to Ganden with no refunds. <laughs> Alright, does everybody understand about the prostration? I just wanted to tell that real quick. 